showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is, one of the more popular fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, the heavyweight contender, the Black Beast, Houston's finest, Derek Lewis. Yeah, Derek Lewis is a phenomenal fighter, but he's just a fighter at heart. From the hardships that he had as a kid to his youth, developing and overcoming so much adversity, become a guy that has fought for the UFC Heavyweight Championship is truly inspiring for anyone that looks up to Derek Lewis. But not only is the story very good, the fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school break your face open type of power, and he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Lewis is three years his senior. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 212 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Invincible. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. All right, Griffin, rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Nice loop and punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Another shot lands upstairs. Straight right is there. Black Beast. 
beautiful punt. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Real sneaky body kick. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He never looked this good. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the Black Beast Eric Lewis. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John and oh! Whoa! And this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Ten seconds. So a strong five minutes down. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Garrett the Black Beast Lewis. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. 